My name is Muriel Forrest. Uh, I'm co-founder of the Faith and Family Foundation with my husband Mark and proud mom of eight boys and three boys with severe disabilities. Uh, Faith and Family Foundation was born uh, as a result of the loss of our son Francesco. Francesco died in 1997 as a result of a heart defect. And after Francesco died, we felt there were two ways to go forward. You could either sit and wonder why it happened, or you could say it must have happened for a reason. So at that point, we really were convinced that God was telling us we needed to pay more attention to kids with disabilities. And it was out of that we founded Faith and Family. And from that day forward, we decided to start the foundation specifically to support families with disabled kids, either financially, emotionally, spiritually, whatever way we could. As far as possible, we want to make Wheatland a place where people come to enjoy and want to stay and want to get to know each other. I think one of the most important goals for me um, is to deal with the family as a whole. Uh, as a father of three special needs children, I really understand the implications and the effects of having um, just the normal day-to-day -day chores and how difficult they are. So the most important thing to Mark and I um, is that families come number one to Wheatland together to relax and have a wonderful time. We have a number of practical services that we think are helpful. We have a salon for kids with disabilities. Um, they can come once a month, have a haircut, mom has a manicure, and at the same time, we have fun activities for dad and siblings. We have fishing, uh, walks around the farm, play with the farm animals, pony rides. We have a wheelchair landing program. So if you have a child with a disability, you need a wheelchair or a piece of adaptive equipment that's expensive or hard to find, you can come and borrow it for free here from us. Check it out, it's like a library. Return it when it's not useful anymore. And then we also accept pieces of equipment from families who have it and don't need it. So we kind of keep things recycled. We have a therapeutic writing program, which we're proud of. We just became accredited by PATH, which is the national accrediting agency for therapeutic writing here in North America. Bailey, are you ready to come and get your certificate? Yes. you get from us? You get your own certificate. What? Look at that. You are most improved in confidence. Look. Give him a big smile. We really are aware of the fact that if you have a child with a disability, it's tough to do outdoor activities and it's also difficult for those kids to go to farms. Every other therapy we have sought for Bridger has been to the detriment of the rest of my family and Faith and Family Foundation is the one place we have come where the therapy is not only beneficial to Bridger but has been to the benefit of the rest of my family as well. Those simple everyday chores and tasks that another family has are a huge actual strain to our family and when you take that simple challenge of a haircut and you make it fun and fun for everybody, um, it just makes the well-being of everybody improved. I really like to grow the therapeutic writing program. I think that children with disabilities really love therapeutic writing. I have a growing wait list of kids who would love to participate and can't because I'm still a little small. Um, I would like to build an indoor arena. It gives the children a chance to ride year round. It also gives them a chance to do indoor activities that you can use your riding arena for, not necessarily riding, all kinds of fun things, go-karts, different things like that. I would like to expand the Great Barn to include a, um, an all-surface, year-round indoor facility for sports and activities, um, and to bring together other nonprofits who seek to serve people with disabilities and use Wheatland as a centre um, to bring everyone together, share ideas, um, a kind of common purpose place to meet. 72,000 children in a 50 mile radius of the White House are picked up by a yellow bus every day in the world of special needs. That is 144,000 parents. I would love Wheatland to be a model for other communities around the country. I think what we can do here in Loudoun can be replicated around America and around the world. If you're lucky enough to have your child in the school system to the age of 21, the chances are that bus is coming home to a single parent. 
the financial pressure, the emotional stress and strain, the 24 hour days, seven day a week of just keeping that family together has taken in enormous tolls in family across this country. And our, I think our job for tomorrow and going forward is to explain who we are to the community and then inviting them to participate in the dream. Faith and Family is committed and here at Wheatland Farm we're committed to making the experience pleasant for families. What I would like Wheatland to be is a place that's 100% accessible to children with disabilities but 100% open to the entire community to enjoy so that we have a bringing together of people rather than a separating of people.